How are you guys? Welcome back to another crazy episode of CNC machining and let's making this making this gearbox. So we're going to get into some thread cutting uh, on the shaft. Oh, thank you. And uh, we'll get this gearbox put back together uh, for the final time, hopefully. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Just finished doing this shaft here this shaft was turned in the little mini lathe and uh, I've just finished the uh, the thread cutting on the end so that thread cutting there uh, I've got two uh, lock nuts there I'm also got safety wire these as well so I'll drill a little hole uh, in the corner once I've tightened it up they'll then be safety wired that basically holds the shaft in place. So what it actually does on the back side of this, that's actually the rear of the shaft. It's a pusher propeller, this one. So all the force is actually gonna be pushing that way, which is why these tapered roller bearings, so I've got the race in there. So they will actually be the front one and then I've got a rear one as well that will go on the rear through here. And these here are actually designed to just put a little bit of tension on that shaft so you can adjust the bearing tension um, and then lock it up and safety wire it. So um, it'll, that way it'll hold uh, the shaft in place. And if you ever want to pull it out, you can undo that and both uh, bearings will come apart because they're a tapered bearing. Uh, the taper sits in forward on this one, forward on that one, because all that um, all the thrust is actually going to be pushing against this gearbox, not pulling. Um, if you want a, a tractor version of this gearbox, you just turn these carriers around so they face the other way, so the actual... Um, thrust is in the opposite direction but for this one it's a pusher gearbox so i'm running tapered bearings that way it's coming together we're getting there now that's all rough to rough size i'll put it in the lathe turn it down to uh what i want and we should be getting very close to putting this gearbox together so stay tuned Okay, so just uh, finished the lower pulley uh, boss attachment. So I've got a radius on that edge. Basically this is gonna, I've got a locating on the end there that drops in. It's a bit of a snug fit, but uh, these aren't the bolts I'm using, but I'm just using them to hold it in place for now. So, uh, that's the bearing. This will, this is a press fit. This bit here is a press fit onto this lower shaft here. So that'll uh, go through. It's a, a press fit there. So I'll, put, I'll push that on. And then it'll, uh, a couple of bolts actually through the shaft on this, because it's a hollow shaft, the lower one. 
and that'll hold the bottom pulley, the drive pulley. Getting there, very close. It, uh, this here is gonna go along that. Okay, so front bearing in, front bearing in there. Prop flange off this shaft here. And that's it. We're getting very close. So adjustment will be made there to tighten the belt. both sides you can adjust the tracking of the belt that there is where the uh, I'll have a sleeve on there that will run on the uh, rear seal That's it for another episode of uh, this crazy build that I'm doing here. Thanks so much for watching and following along. We'll catch you on the next one.